This week on the Highlander Report, soldiers of 1st Armored Division participate in the Fort Bliss Sullivan Cup. Three tank crews from 135 Armor, 16 Infantry, and 177 Armor compete in a series of events that included a maintenance challenge, a reflexive fire rifle range, and a tank gunnery table. This week has just been a culmination of different, just challenging events. You know, I mean, I guess you challenge the crews, all right, and whoever comes out on top, all right, those are going to be the crews that's going to represent all right, the first armored division, all right, in May down to Fort Bennett. The United States Army has the General Sullivan Cup. It was started by General Sullivan to bring back the mechanized fight to really build the esprit de corps in the armor branch. And it, what it does, the Sullivan Cup does, is it designates the top tank crew in the United States Army, Marine Corps, and we actually have some international participants in Canada and Australia this year. It's like the Rangers have the best Ranger, I guess, deal going on. We've got the Sullivan Cup, you know, so we go down there, and we have a shoot off, you know, whoever at the end of the week, you know, whoever, uh, whoever comes up with, you know, with the highest amount of points, you know, it's going to be guys all right, that's going to win the cup. The winning team from 177 Armor, led by Staff Sergeant Michael Rogers, will go on to Fort Benning, Georgia, to compete in the National Sullivan Cup competition. I do think that with an additional month of training after we conclude ours, an additional month of training, that we have a very good shot at winning. For 41AD and Fort Bliss, I'm Army Sergeant Mike Grimm, and that's your Highlander Report.